In this example, uh, we know that the population has a variance of 32, and we have a sample of size 50, uh, probably shouldn't have these other off there, of size 50 has a mean of 629. We want to construct a 99% confidence interval for the population mean. Now, the key difference here from the previous example is that we don't know whether the population was normally distributed. Okay? Um, let's say that it's not. In which case, because we have a large enough sample size of 50, because the sample size is 30 or more, we can use the central limit theorem. Okay? That's telling us that the sample means will be normally distributed. So, what we're saying here is that the sample means will be normally distributed with a mean of 629 and a variance of 32 over uh, 50. Okay. Now, we want a 99% confidence interval for the mean. So, we want to be 99% confident that the mean lies between these two z values. So we're looking, want to know those percentages. So if the total of those two, two percentages must be 1%, then each one must be 0.5%. And we can calculate the z value by doing the inverse norm of 0 0.005. That's 0.5%. Okay? So you can do that using your formula booklet, or you can do it using your calculator. So inverse norm of 0 0.005 is minus 2.576. To three decimal places. So that's minus 2.576 and that's plus 2.576. Okay. So that means our confidence interval is going to be equal to 629, the mean, plus or minus the z value, 2.576, times by the standard error which is this variance square, uh, square rooted. So 32 over 50 square rooted. Okay, that's going to be our confidence interval. So if we plug these values in, 629 take away 2.576 times by the square root of 32 over 50. Okay, so that gets me 6 to 6.9 that's the lower confidence limit okay so that's taking away and then if I change this to a plus then we've got 631.1 to one decimal place okay so I can be 99% confident that the sample mean uh, the population mean, sorry, will be between these two values. And you can see that actually the, both of them are quite close to 629, and that's because the sample size was so large. So that kind of adds a trustworthiness to our answer. Because the sample size is large, that means the confidence uh, limit, the confidence interval, will be narrower.